Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back in Old Man in the Land of Grills. Oh, we got a special guest here today. Brian Horseman from Bad Horse Barbecue. <laughs> Checking out the mullet. Hey. And, and you, you know what? We're going to do some pizzas. And Brian said one of the hardest things when you have this many grills is trying to choose which one to cook on. So after making a path, I said, you know, the, the Lifetime, we owe folks uh, a video showing how we're going to do some take and bake pizza on the Lifetime. Remember, that's a gas grill over there, pellet grill in there. It's all inside there. Gas and pellets, all in one. <laughs> that's crazy. Let's get her fired up and make some pizza. All right, folks, remember, this has got gas, as you can see, the four knobs, and it's also pellet. And we're running on the pellets right now. Pellets on this thing will get you to 400 degrees now. The take and bake we're doing calls for 425. So we're gonna supplement with a little bit of gas and see how that works out. Folks, I can't say enough, enough good things about this controller, at least the screen on it. Nice and big, in color, shows you everything. It shows you when the auger's turning, it shows you when the fan is on. There's even the one in the middle there, which isn't lit up, which show you when the hot pot is, the hot rod is going in the hot pot. And, and it does have a Wi-Fi connectivity. Now, they're not done with the app yet, but there's the app right there. And uh, th thank you to Brian Horseman, Mad Horse, Mad Horse Barbecue. Check him out on YouTube and for pointing that out for you. And then also, folks, I'll leave the link down below of the original review we did on this Lifetime Fusion Fuel Grill. All right, folks, so for those of you who are like me and get a little impatient on getting, you know, things warmed up in your massive grill, and there's, there's, there's a lot of surface area here to, to get heated up, uh, you can cheat a little bit. I've got pellet grill set at 400, but I've also turned one one of the gas burners on just to get the heat up there faster. And you see just in the time we're talking here, it's gone up, uh, I think at least five degrees here. It's going up a lot faster than the pellet grill by itself, as you see, just jumped another five. So that, that would help you get up the temperature sooner. Uh, you know, and today it's not that, it's not cold, cold. It's in, it's in the lower 40s, mid 40s. So for us in Midwest here, this for a March day is pretty nice. You can see up to 260 now. So just having one burner on and uh, we're about full there uh, really helps make this pellet grill a lot faster. All right, folks, the experiment continues. Still want to see if I can run gas and pellets at the same time. Because right now we're above the set point. The high point on this pellet grill is 400 degrees, but you can get it a lot higher using the gas assist. Now you can see auger's on, so she is giving her more pellets. The, the, the theory here is that uh, if you can operate at a higher temp than what your pellet grill is set at, and if, if the pellet grill is still running, you should be able to get some smoke. You know, you know technically we could call this wood-fired pizza with gas. All right, let's see how our uh, stone is doing. We got a stone in there. 313, we want to get this a little bit warmer. 300, we want to get a little bit warmer than that. So we'll keep on going. Maybe we'll turn on another, we got three to choose from. We'll turn maybe the center ones on because I'm getting hungry. All right, so what's going on here is the pillow grill portion of it got confused by the heat that two burners was putting out. And it actually, I think, put it into the cool down cycle uh, just because it was getting too hot for it. It was way over the set point, and the high on this thing is 400. So we are going to continue with the gas and still show you how to make pizzas on this grill because uh, gas-fired pizzas, minus the wood, are still good pizzas. All right, so that, that was my second try, trying to see if we could use the Lifetime with the pellet grill and the gas. And you're saying, well, time isn't that what it's supposed to do? And the, the reality of it is the gas and the pellet together, uh, the gas is just there to assist it on a really cold days. This isn't cold enough for it. Uh, so obviously, if you're not using the gas, the pellet grill side of it works fantastic. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me whether it's PID or not. They don't say whether it is PID, but it sure acts a little bit like a PID. It, it's, it has, does have a temperature range uh, that makes me think that it's not truly PID because when it's set at, let's say, say 225, it'll bounce around a little bit 230 sometimes 235 and then come back down in the 220 maybe 215 so which makes me think that it's not 100 percent pid but it does know what the temp is inside the grill so it is reacting to that so we're going to continue on and uh got stone in there got some take and bake pizza on there oh man it's going to be delicious give you a look see uh that's finished all right one of the nice things is when you have the pellet grill off you can still turn the uh pellet 
grill portion on and use just the thermometer on there so you know what the temp is. A lot of people have asked me if I'm gonna put a temp probes on the, uh, on the lid and there's a part of me that says, yes, you should. So let's take a look at our pizza right now. These are, uh, it's called Papa Murphy's and they're in the Midwest. I don't know if they're, I know they're not around the, but they give you this sheet that's safe for the oven. But the nice thing about it when you're doing it on the stone is once it gets a little bit uh, easier to take off the sheet, take it off the sheet and put it on the stone. Look at that, that's some nice looking pizza right there, folks. So we're gonna eat and I hope this was helpful for you. Obviously we showed you how we can do a pizza on the Lifetime. We tried again the, using the Pell Grill and the gas feature together unsuccessfully like i said once again it's not designed for that but uh the lifetime still works out very nicely especially when it comes to making pizza we've done a few things on this thing now and i've been very impressed with it folks uh, i'll leave the link down below i'll leave the link to the review we do, did on this check them out lifetime grills hope this was helpful thumbs up leave a comment and as always thanks for watching